I regret it, yeah. Because he, he well, he had a couple of, uh, or it would be on him. On the father, John, uh, John, uh, uh, John's sister married Harry Verandi. And Harry Verandi had brothers. One of them is Beverly, born in, uh, buried in Beverly. And one of them was a shoemaker here with Harry. Because Harry was a good shoemaker. They made old shoes from scratch. Huh. Yeah. And he had a, a shoe repair in the back of his store. And then there was Ernest. How many brothers that came to Italy? Ernest, Harry, and there's another one. But there was one brother, only one brother left. Uh, all, the, all the brothers came to Italy. Who's? H oh. Harry. Like, uh, who's this? Pop Pop saw? That's uh, John's uh, sister's husband. Harry. Verani. Yeah, yeah, Verani. See, they all came to Beverly. And even one sister came to Beverly. What was her name? Her name, it was uh, when... Oh, Cecilia in Italian, but I can't figure it in American. Mary Edwardi. He, Mary's mother married an Edwardi. So when she got married, pushed the Verani... And got the awardee. Right. So Mary Awardee, this was when I was single, would come up to Aunt Virginia. Mary Awardee's mother and father. They would come up to Virginia sometime on the weekend. And Mary would come. So Virginia would say, Hey Esther, I got my nieces coming up. Would you take her, you know, keep her show her around yeah. Beverly and all? And we were just like this, Mary Awardee. And uh, we're, so we we always correspond with everything. And her mother made me a beautiful sweater. I can see it now, brown and, and uh, beige. So and I had it. I moved down here. God knows where it went. <laughs> and uh, we're, so when she would come up to Virginia's, she didn't have no one to play, you know that she would know from Berkeley. And she would say, "Hey Esther." Would you take Mary out? You know, we could walk up Edgewater and I would show her and we'd talk with different places and all. So then first thing you know, she got married, went on her own. I got married and never knew of anything. Right. So I had my daughter. I had Virginia and I washed her dress. Virginia was always in dresses, no, no old dungarees and no slippers or shoes or no nah, shoes and a, <laughs> so I had her all dressed up pretty, and it was March. Yeah, it was, in, and she was in the coach, April, something like that. And I had my front door open, the screen locked. On Broad Street. Yeah, on Broad Street. You know, I lived down where John used to live, but that house was all remodeled. And, and I put her there, and I covered her little hands because she had a habit of scratching her face. And the winds was blowing the trees, and she was there sitting so nice. <laughs> you know, she would lay up and move her little hands and on. So I was doing my work in the kitchen. So and I, and the only thing the kitchen said, only thing I go like this, I look, I could see the door, you know. So for a while, she was all right. I said, I got some work here to do in the kitchen. So first thing you know, I go look. And I see a lady and a girl looking at the baby. I said, my God, who the hell are they? So then afterwards, I said, I went to the door. And who it was, Harry's sister, which is John's brother-in-law, his sister and daughter Mary. Wow. And the, <laughs> well, the, the mother's name was Cecile. Uh-huh. And so I went to the door, and I said, oh, my God, Mary. And here she brought Virginia a beautiful blanket. She must have bought it at the store mm -hmm. and gave it to me. She said, yeah. She says, I, I said, Mary, it's been so long since I've seen you, you know. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, we came up to see Aunt Virginia, and Aunt Virginia said, you had a baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you said, I want to go down and see the baby. So, so she said, Mom, 
buy something for the baby. <laughs> so she bought a blanket and brought it down. And we talked and we had... And then from then, we picked up friends again. Yeah, right. And talked. So then afterwards, we got married there. So I didn't know where she was living in Philadelphia. So, but she would come up and I would play with her and everything. Yeah. So John read it in the paper that the mother had died. Mary's mother. And John says, here. I says, oh, when is she being laid out? She's being laid out tonight. I says, oh, shit. If she was laid out like tomorrow night, I would give us time that we could get dressed and we could have went down here. But here she was living, Mary was living right around the corner like my cousin Esther and her mother was living on 19th Street. Because I was talking to my cousin Esther and she says, oh, there's an, a, a Mary. But I can't think of her last name, but she lives around the corner. So when we were coming by, going home, we had to pass down on 19th Street to get the, uh, the to in the, uh, yeah. Philadelphia to get the bus. So I couldn't get any traction or anything. So first thing you know, we read about that Mary's mother had died. So we couldn't go and see her. So I says, I'd be damn, I'm going to write her a letter. And I wrote her a letter. Oh, she was so glad. <laughs> and she said, I got to come up to see you, Esther. We got long things to talk about. And she did come up to see us.